Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 2nd of September 2011, and we continue to watch Typhoon Talas or Tropical Storm Talas via JTWC, two different agencies warning on the system right in here. Uh, Typhoon Talas via JMA, though, they're currently reporting winds of 65, gusting up to 90 knots, while JTWC keeps it at 55 knots. A little backwards than normally, though, uh, since uh, JMA actually bases their wind scale on a 10 minute average, as JTWC bases theirs on a 1 minute average, so they're typically higher. But in this case, different prognostic reasonings behind and forecasting and raising on this briefly mentioned before zooming in on this system is that we do have another invest down here invest 98w now this does have the potential for developing here in the coming days out over the next basically 72 to 96 hours and possibly drift off towards the northwest as well so we're just going to continue to watch this here as well uh, not really going to give any more information on that today as it is very long range out and still getting it to well, act together basically right now but zooming in on the uh, talos here and just showing its center completely exposed here and uh, at first people were actually calling this an eye but it's not more or less an eye just like exposed center of uh, circulation and all this convection in the middle is really gone out of it with only a lot of the convection left along the northern and southwestern peripheries I know the last several days we only been seeing the convection on the southeastern periphery but due to the upper level trough we've been talking about approaching in from the west a lot of that outflow and the inflow has really been starting to take place to the northern part of this system and that is also enhancing precipitation here over much of Japan already seeing gale force winds and heavy precipitation amounts being reported in uh, Shikoku and even up to Kyoto and Osaka here as well. Actually, if we steer over to the radar, it clearly indicates an abundant amount of precipitation up and down Japan, all the way from Hokkaido all the way down towards Kyushu and even parts of the Ryukyu Islands. This precipitation up here in Hokkaido, really unrelated to the typhoon directly at all, is a part of that trough that is grabbing it and going to start pulling it off towards the north here in the next about 40, or actually 24 hours. Basically, by tomorrow morning, you're going to start to see an extra tropical transition really quickly with this system but right down here towards the south you're really starting to see these bandings starting to form in and starting to make landfall here near the coast of Shikoku whereas I already stated some thunderstorms and heavy precipitation already being reported throughout this entire region here and working its way into Kyoto and Osaka they already been reporting rainfall overnight but this morning got another line of thunderstorms starting to work their way towards the northwest so that metropolitan area definitely going to be seeing some heavy precipitation soon if uh, you're unfamiliar with Japan here actually a Kyoto and Osaka located right in this region just up in this uh, Wan region in here inside the inland sea so this entire region right in here definitely gonna be seeing some thunderstorms here really soon also, I do want to note here in the higher mountains here in Shikoku, and we've already seen this in the past, going to be seeing a lot of heavy precipitation on the eastern side of these mountains right through here as this system continues to track off towards the northwest and likely going to be making landfall here on Shikoku, putting uh, basically this region here in the right front quadrant. So you could see a storm surge right up in the coast here, especially in some of the size, some of these wands here where the water gets funneled in. So you could see a light storm surge. It is likely going to be making landfall as a tropical storm, but doesn't take away the account of about a two to three foot storm surge. And zooming in on the Osaka and Kyoto region even more here and just showing the wind flow coming in from the northwest basically that counterclockwise circulation around the system right now just showing uh, wind speeds right around 5 to 10, 11 meters per second but here in Osaka uh, just seeing up towards 15 so really starting to pick up these wind speeds here just basically throughout this entire area as the system approaches. And as always I do like to show a quick analysis on the model runs right in here just showing where they're pointing. Most of them are pointing out towards Shikoku here all these uh, bigger models GS FS, AVN, no gaps, and just showing JTWC, not a model, but the forecasting, just a little bit right to the consensus right in here, as been stated in the last several days. Uh, they might drift here towards the left, but they're really starting to pick up on extra tropical transition quickly, just prior to landfall, and that's going to shoot it off basically the northeast and up towards uh, the Sapporo region and up here even in Hokkaido. Now, it's not going to be tropical once it gets up here. It's actually going to be exceptionally disorganized. And looking at what no gaps is currently showing for the outlook on this, they got the system making landfall near Shikoku, as already stated, but then if you notice this little troughing here off towards the Sea of Japan, it's really going to start picking it up, and it just grabs it and shoots it off towards the northeast, becomes exceptionally disorganized, and really just goes at extra tropical transition really quickly here. Also, I do want to briefly mention, since I got this model run up, is this little spin rate in here. Now, that's at Invest 98W we were talking about earlier, drifting off towards the northwest. Still got some time to watch this system here, but just want to note some of the models are picking up on it. But on that note, looking at JMA's uh, warning here on the system, making landfall around Shikoku, as many of those models are indicating, really just going to run up this way towards that trough of low pressure coming in from the northwest and then shoot it off towards the north. Current winds via JMA still at typhoon intensity, thus I named this a typhoon on the uh, basically the label here on this video is 65 gusting up to 95 knots 
Currently, we are expecting this to slowly drift off towards the north, but current pressure remains at 965 HPA. Now, one more thing that could involve a slight intensification prior to landfall, but really that's going to be countered by the interaction here over much of Japan and the Japanese Alps is the increase in sea surface temperatures due to the Kuroshio current that runs right through this area right here and off towards the northeast. So that could encounter that right in there. Actually, if you go back to the satellite, you can quickly show that sea surface temperature. And the uh, basically the Kuroshio current right through here just basically runs right up against the coast of Shikoku and goes off towards the northeast running up towards the Bowen Islands and on eventually off towards the northern Pacific. And this little area right in here is what I'm talking about, about that increase in sea surface temperatures. It could provide some more heat just prior to landfall for this system. So uh, really this is the GTWC's track and it is going to run over this current here and they do mention it in their prognostic reasonings there. But I think this is going to also be countered by the Japanese Alps and that land interaction. So uh, those two could maintain intensity about 55 gussing up to 60 knots just prior to landfall here from JTWC's warning. Uh, JMA also still keeping up the 65 knots though and either way not very much of a difference. I think the precipitation is going to still be the major issue here as this enters these mountain ranges here along the east coast. So most definitely anybody in some low-lying areas especially along the eastern portion of the Japanese Alps should continue to watch this storm closely. Uh, watch out for some flash flooding possibly. I know JMA has continued to put out warnings for high waves and a thunderstorm and basically flooding advisors up and down the coast right now extending all the way from uh, the Kanagawa and uh, Tokyo prefecture down towards Shikoku prefecture and even out to Fukuoto you're still seeing some warnings up and down this region here so as this continues to track off this way a lot of these bannings right in here carry a lot of precipitation so just continue to watch that here as it starts to make landfall but that is all I got for today everybody thanks again for listening here to westernpacificweather.com if you have any questions comments or suggestions you can post them here on YouTube or at westernpacificweather.com as well. Got a WordPress base there, so you can post it in several different aspects. And uh, also posting this at storm2k.org and 28storms.com. So thanks again, everybody. Stay safe out there. Continue to check back with JMA and GWCs for these warnings, outputs on this system in the next 24 hours as it begins to make landfall. So thanks again. Stay safe out there, everybody.